When you try to talk about the negative effects of porn in the porn industry, people will look at you like you're bringing up black crime statistics. It's one of those things so far outside of the Overton window that just bringing the topic up is enough to make most people shun you. As far as neoliberal society is concerned, the porn debate is a shut case. It's healthy, it's normal, and if you don't agree with it, you're a prude. Pornography is not normal. It is just something that has been deeply normalized. In normalizing pornography, we've taken the idea that maybe children shouldn't have access to porn, and we've pushed that right outside the Overton window. Maybe we should make it more difficult for children to have access to pornography. Maybe we should make it more difficult for adults who are addicted to porn to keep fueling their habits. Maybe we should make it more difficult for those habits to exist in the first place. Maybe we should ban porn. A lot of you are probably in disbelief right now that I would even suggest such a thing. Uh, you're probably wondering something like, oh, what's wrong with porn? You know what's wrong with porn. Do you really want me to quote like erectile dysfunction statistics at you? You're aware that it's rewiring your brain, it's ruining lives, it's creating sick fetishes. Why do you think when you get a sick fetish, you're ashamed? Do you think that's just coming out of nowhere? Something deep within you recognizes that you are doing something worthy of shame. Everybody knows what's wrong with porn. We've just collectively decided to ignore it. On social media today, young girls are posting revealing photos of themselves, 15 year olds, 16 year olds, realizing that revealing photos of themselves get more likes. Essentially what we're doing here is we're training young people to have a dopamine rush whenever they post a revealing picture of themselves on the internet. The logical conclusion of taking young people and giving them dopamine hits for posting revealing photos of themselves online is an OnlyFans account. We are tying a financial incentive and a validating dopamine rush to selling pictures of yourself nude for money. Let's talk about OnlyFans. Do you plan to have kids? How would you feel if your daughter started an OnlyFans at 18? You might think, okay, that's fine. You know, I'm a liberal parent. My daughter can do whatever she wants. Um, okay, what, ab what about 16? What if she's starting to think about starting an OnlyFans at 16 and, you know, kind of experimenting on her Instagram, on TikTok? What about 14? What about 13? What about 12? 30 years ago, it would require a concerted effort to enter the porn industry. Now, all she needs is a phone. Did you need money when you were 18? What would you have done for that money? Would you have taken a few pictures of yourself and thought nothing of it? I probably would have. Most people probably would have. If there was a market for it and it was easy, of course I would take that money. What kind of culture are we building here? Where does this lead? I think it's pretty clear where this leads. We are fostering a society where it's not only okay to do this, but it's encouraged, and if you discourage it, you're a prude and to be exiled. I don't think this should be a political issue. Like, feminists, are you are you happy that most women are, are, are sex workers? Do, do, you, do you like that? Do you like a future where most women are sex workers? Is that where you want to progress towards? Let's look at the recent iDubbbz drama example. For those of you who don't know, there was a YouTuber called iDubbbz. His girlfriend started an OnlyFans account. Everyone called him a simp and a cuck for having a girlfriend that had an OnlyFans account. Now, you've probably already heard of this story. You probably already have an opinion about it. I'm not gonna try to change that. What I am gonna do is analyze what people are angry about, and it's not iDubbbz. Nobody is that invested with iDubbbz' personal relationship. What they're really mad at is the broader social structure that allowed them to witness a man get cucked in front of their very eyes. People mad at iDubbbz were actually mad at a culture that allows for the emasculation of the man, the commodification of the woman, and the degeneracy of the West. For the most part, I don't think people were mad at iDubbbz. I think they were mad at the rampant neoliberal commodification of sex and sexuality. They're mad at the world. As a Christian, I always found it weird that masturbation was a mortal sin within the church. The reason I found that weird was because sex was so normalized for me, even at a young age, that it, it was strange that such a normal part of our culture was apparently sending people to burn in hell for all of eternity. Only now that I'm a bit older do I see the spiritual reason why someone might want to avoid temptation. Sexual energy, sexual drive, it's a powerful thing, and there is value in having it be controlled, or at least it being encouraged to be controlled. I also wanna say that now is a really pertinent time to be talking about this with the pandemic. Young men are gonna be isolated and alone. Young women are gonna be looking for a way to earn some extra cash without having to leave their house. But the real pandemic is of disaffected, lonely young men who are gonna be looking towards these dopamine traps as a way of fulfilling something that porn and the porn industry never can. Nobody wins here. 
It is the blatant exploitation of men and women. This is also an issue that affects me personally. I was also exposed to porn at a young age. And in recent years, I've started a web series and people have started drawing porn of that web series. I asked them to stop, they kept doing it, and now I'm starting to see some of the effects of that. People are saying, oh, I'm sexualizing a Nazi character. It goes against my moral code. I, I feel ashamed of myself. Um, and it's, it's disheartening to see these kinds of fetishes get formed within people who, who watch my content. Just because pornography is so readily available, people think it's okay to draw that kind of stuff. Ultimately, the blame isn't just on the porn industry. It's not just on women who create OnlyFans accounts. The blame is on people like me who have platforms and aren't using them to draw attention to this issue. Every time we do this, we reinforce a culture that grooms children to be sex workers. But I've also decided to bring the fight to them. That's why I've started an OnlyFans account of my own, where I will decry the evils of the porn industry, lewd. Sex work is not real work. This is easy. Ooh. Because of my bio calling out OnlyFans for their bullshit, they tried to deny me time and time again. But eventually I broke through, and now I'm ready to give my message to the people that need to hear it the most. Porn addicted young men are less likely to be satisfied during sexual intercourse and are much more likely to develop erectile dysfunction. I will not rest until porn is abolished, and I will be posting there at least weekly for the rest of the year. I'm also going to be playing characters from my Centricide series, in an attempt to give the people who have developed fetishes around me and my characters a little bit of help by feeding them some anti-pornography messages that might help them kick their addiction. Hey guys, it's your old friend Ancom here, still alive, but only on Dreg's OnlyFans. That's right, if you liked me as a character, the only way you get to see more of me is through softcore pornography. I've been on the OnlyFans this whole time. What's this still doing here? I gotta chop this off! For example, you can DM me asking me to act out one of your fetishes, and I'll message you back saying you're fucking disgusting and need help. I've already got plenty of videos and images up already, including a picture of my feet that explain that anyone with a foot fetish is a human reject with a mental disorder. I am dead serious about my fight against pornography. I've already donated $100 to the attached charity, and I'm gonna be making sure that I use my OnlyFans to fight against pornography in every way that I can. So join me on OnlyFans.com slash Dregory, and we will bring down the porn industry. Together.